Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, 2016. This week we're working on PSL number 4, and this is day 3. Today's Wednesday, so we are going to be taking a break from our normal routine so that we can practice some I-step type constructive response problems. So today's is a very, very multi-step, lots of steps to find just a few answers for this problem. But it does involve some of our geometry. <coughs> So our question says, what is the volume in cubic inches of the stage? And we need to show all of our work. So the stage is definitely a composite figure. If you've been doing any of this stuff with us, you'll notice that in order to find this volume, we're going to need to divide this composite shape into a few different rectangular prisms um, and it looks like we're gonna have three to work with so the first one is over here where we've got a front end <coughs> looks like it's four by four and then this depth is Eight. So I'm going to call this part A, and we will find the volume of part A by doing length times width times height. So part A has length and width the end of 4 by 4, and then a height of 8. So we're going to multiply those all out which gives us a total of 128 and these are going to be inches cubed. So I'm going to save that answer over here, 128 cubic inches and then I'm going to clean up my picture and continue on finding the other pieces of the stage. Okay, so the next piece of the stage that I'm going to find is this part that I've called letter B and part B has measurements of, let's see, this top right here is 4 and then the side is going to be, let's see, 4 plus 2, so it's 6. And then the depth is still 8. So my length times width times height is going to be 4 by 6 by 8. So I'm going to multiply that out. And for this piece, I'm going to get a total of 192 and this is in inches cubed. So I'm going to bring this one down here, 192 cubic inches for part B. And now to find the area, I'm sorry, the volume of my last piece of the stage, I'm going to do length times width times height. And we have a length, let's see, of 4. with a width of 2 and a height, again, of 8. So I'm going to multiply those all out, and I get 64 cubic inches for this piece. Now, to find the total volume, I'm going to add up all these pieces. So I have 128 plus 192 plus 64, all cubic inches which gives me a grand total of 384 cubic inches. So down here should be 384. So that is part A of this problem. Now on to part B, we're going to actually be using data from our first part A, so the 384 cubic inches is something that we'll want to use over here. So they're telling us Malcolm knows that one pound of wax will fill 30 cubic inches of the stage. He also knows that to purchase a five pound bag of wax is going to cost $8. So we need to figure out what is the cost of the wax Malcolm needs to buy to make the stage. And we do not want to include tax. Again, super important on I-Step in acuity they want us to show all of our work so we'll be diligent and show every little piece of work. 
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the beginning. We know that one pound of wax will fill 30 cubic inches. So one pound, 30 cubic inches. And we know that we have a stage which is 384 cubic inches. And we need to figure out how many pounds of wax we need to buy. So I'm going to cross multiply. And I get 30x equals 384. So we're going to be dividing 384 by 30. We're going to get a funky number. We're going to get a decimal. We get 12.8. So what does this 12.8 mean? This means that to fill our entire stage, we need 12.8 bags of wax. But if we go to the store to buy bags of wax, we can't buy just 12 and then 8 tenths of another bag. We're going to have to buy them in, in one increment doses. So we wouldn't want to buy 12 bags, we would want to buy 13 bags. So the first thing we need to know is that we need 13 bags. So we've taken care of that part. Okay, the next piece of info that I need to incorporate is that it says a five pound bag. So they're selling wax not by the pound but by the five pounds. So if I need 13 pounds, I need to figure out how many bags I'll need if I'm buying them in increments of five pounds. So if I buy one bag, I get five pounds. If I buy two bags, I get 10 pounds, three bags, 15, etc. So I need to make sure that I cover 13 and we're probably gonna end up with a little bit extra because I get 2.6, so I'm gonna round up. So I'm gonna be buying or purchasing three bags which is going to give me 15 pounds, but we only need 13. The last piece of information is that each bag of wax costs $8. So if we're purchasing five bags of this, I'm sorry, three bags, and each bag is $8, we need to do three times eight, which is going to equal $24 which is the total amount that we're going to be spending. And that is how you solve that problem.